Well, an upper level trough is going to be sweeping across the middle part of the country, causing severe weather today, tomorrow, and the next couple of days into early next week. We've got a little bit of an active pattern. So here's this upper level trough kind of cutting into the same pattern we've had for weeks now, this big upper level heat dome really focused in the south, but it really does continue even into Canada. But we have these troughs, which are basically areas of cool air aloft cutting through them. And what that does is create instability because you bring cool air over hot air and that air is going to bubble up and create thunderstorms along with a weak but jet stream that is there something that we haven't seen as much of uh, much of this spring uh, sweeping along out ahead of it so we have some upper level wind and some instability all coming together and kind of moving through the area so none of these are going to be major outbreaks but we are talking about uh, scattered severe storms a very odd looking slight risk today because we've got kind of two main areas we're going to be watching uh, the main threats are going to be hail and wind these next couple of days with this system rather than a, than a tornado threat. In fact, pretty good chance of some large hail in eastern Colorado, but also into parts of Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Same areas could see some wind too. This is looking at mid-level moisture, relative humidity. So notice the brown and lighter green areas. That's drier air moving in behind this trough. So uh, this push of dry air aloft is what helps produce some of these downburst winds that moves into the moist air. Then the air cools, plummets to the ground, creating these straight line wind events that are gonna be pretty prevalent, I think. So some large hail, uh, chance for some supercells with these storms initially, and then they're gonna form these bow echoes uh, that'll produce those downburst winds and become mesoscale convective systems, which last several hours producing some rain and wind. So when we look at the wind gust swaths, you get a large area that we're going to be seeing potentially those severe wind gusts. But also with this cluster of storms that will be developing into Illinois, there's going to be sort of two rounds of severe weather there the next couple of days that we'll be looking more a little bit at here. So an enhanced risk already of this area of eastern Missouri, southern Illinois, Indiana, into uh, western Kentucky for severe weather tomorrow. They're going to get some storms tonight. They're in that slight risk area. But then tomorrow night, we're going to be watching for another cluster of storms. So here's tonight's storms. Late evening, we'll see a cluster of thunderstorms producing some large hail and wind potentially. And then that will fizzle out as it moves through uh, the eastern part of the country into even Georgia by later on uh, tomorrow. But then we're gonna see another line of storms form. This is gonna be, produce a bow echo that'll sweep across these areas, producing some of these high wind gusts. So here's the wind gusts from tonight, impressive enough, but then watch as the next round of wind gusts develop late tomorrow into tomorrow night, we're gonna see another swath of wind gusts over those same areas. So there are parts of Southern Illinois and Indiana, Western Kentucky that could see two rounds of severe wind gusts with two different bow echoes tonight and tomorrow night. And then the focus heading into Sunday will be over some of those same areas, Illinois, all the way towards the East Coast. And then an early look at Monday, uh, 4th of July holiday weekend plans for those up in Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, uh, might see some severe weather there. We've got a cold front that's gonna be moving into some of that hot air, could produce some severe weather Monday and Tuesday for the upper Midwest.